this. It's like Crusher's not growing. Let's put them in here. I'm excited. What's up, Phillies fam? Welcome back. I am inside of Fred and Kazoo's setup here, but as you know, if you pay attention, they're not in here anymore. The only one in here is Xena. The other two guys are outside. You can take a look. They are doing great. They're thriving. They're loving it. We just finished setting up Baby Groot, his awesome little DIY setup. Oh, look, he's out. He's out sunbathing. That is awesome. Really cool turtle, guys. That is a common snapping turtle. If you didn't check out that last video, make sure you go check it out. Really cool because he is the reason why we're doing what we're doing. So he is only in that temporary, probably be in there for about a month. He is going to go into Crusher and Daisy's old place. Crusher and Daisy today are going to come in here with Xena to kind of keep her company and grow and there's plenty of room in here. So we figured what better way to give them some more space and give Xena someone to hang out with. So we are going to completely redo this almost completely reduced, but we're gonna take off this whole big side thing. No one uses it. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna uh, cover up the wall here. We're gonna get rid of the old filter that was sitting there and really just clean the water up. We're gonna set them up a whole new basking area and we're gonna hang the lights from here. So make sure you stay tuned for the whole video. There's gonna be some really cool stuff coming at the end of the video and you get to really check out what we did and kind of see how it all comes together. You excited, Greg? Yeah. All right, guys, let's get to breaking down and redoing this 100 gallon turtle pond setup. Scaring everybody. If you guys remember, there are two big fish in here right now. We got our huge sunfish, and we also have our um, goby, Moby the goby who is huge now. They get along great. Actually, they are really good friends. They do not like not having a place to hide. So, um, but like I said, we're getting rid of the old basking dock. We're gonna clean all the water out. We're gonna really clean this up. I'm gonna clean out the filter. And we're gonna set up a whole new place. It's gonna look really cool. Fond memories. This was Fred's original basking dock that he had. It was about the only thing he had in his little tiny 10 gallon setup. Was this about this much water that he couldn't even swim in? And I, did he even have a light? I don't even know if he had a light. I mean, it was it was a terrible setup, but um, it's worked amazing for almost a year and a half now. So did a uh, pretty good sized water change in here. Scooped out a lot of the stuff that was floating around. Uh, looks pretty nice. I'm adding in just a little bit of uh, sand in here because I did have to scoop some out, but it looks. Uh, like a thousand times cleaner in here. So we did that. Now we're gonna go wash off the new rocks that we got to kind of make the basking area. Gonna get those in here and we'll put some water in. Then we gotta get Crusher and Daisy and throw them in here and they're gonna love it. Not actually throw them, put them in here. And they're gonna love it. All right guys, so we got the water filling back up in here. I went out, I washed off all the rocks. So similar to the ones that we did outside for the basking, I got some rounded rocks. They kind of look like bricks almost for the bottom. This is gonna go somewhat right in the middle. Um, I don't know how many we need yet, so I'm gonna start with two on each, which I don't think is going to be enough, so probably will end up being three on each. The slate piece that I got for them to bask upon is really thick. They didn't have the ones that we got for outside, which I love. So we're going with this, I'm gonna see if it works. It is massive, massive, massive. So we might have to build some a little bit of a ramp for them to use to climb up, but I'm gonna get that in, get the uh, other filter back on. Oh, and I gotta hang the lights. That is the largest. That piece alone has gotta weigh like 50 pounds, easily. It is so massive and thick. If you guys have watched our videos before, you know everything we do will always be updating. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll probably do a few things, but I'm super pumped. So to give you a little recap, we took out this whole side here that we had built. Um, we changed pretty much everything in here. I did a full water change. It looks great. So we built them a huge basking area right in the middle. We hung both of our lights here. Now guys, that is one thing that we're gonna change. I thought I had some wire left from the other lights we hung. We didn't, so I had to use this uh, little pipe holder stuff, which doesn't look great. But anyways, 
It in here looks awesome. We also put his old little cave slash basking dock underneath the water just to give him another cave there. And I moved the sponge filter just to the back there. The other thing we did where we had a hole in the um, fencing back there, we just put some like chicken, what is that? Not chicken wire, is it chicken wire? Yes. It's like industrial chicken wire, it's really thick. So we put that all around, it's hardware cloth, thank you. As Tay said, hardware cloth. So we put that all around the back in this side and left the roll bars on those two. I might still update this and put roll bars back here just in case, but for right now with them being so little, they can't even get up to that. So this is gonna be perfect. So without further ado, we gotta get Crusher and Daisy. Let's put them in here. I'm excited because I know they're gonna love all of this space. Um, I'm probably gonna put them onto the basking dock first. It's dark in here, guys, because we took the lights out. Look at the sunfish, they all like come to my hand. We got Daisy and Crusher, and it's really funny because Daisy is literally, <laughs> look at this. It's like Crusher's not growing. It looks like Daisy ate two of Crusher's. That is unbelievable. That is very common that the females are larger. It's just crazy that she's so much larger. What do you guys think, you ready? Look it, it might take them a minute, I don't know. I love their colors in the light, those yellow, the yellow, the yellow colors, the yellows. Oh, look at her, woo! Oh, she's gonna meet a new friend. Can't wait for her to see Xena. Let me know what you guys think though. If you have any critiques, if you've done anything similar, I think this is gonna work awesome for them. They love having the underneath cave. Look at Zena just went under. Craig Crush was like, ah, you know, it's kind of warm. I like this. <laughs> oh, look at Zena's like, what are you? Over here, you can see her in the back. It's funny, it almost looks like dogs meeting each other. Oh, Crush was like, all right, let's go. I want to get in now. They, no, seriously. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Wait a Baby. second. This isn't my tank. Look at that. It's so cool. They have so much room in here. I can't wait till they grow a little bit more. Very cool. So, um, give me some ideas, guys. I would like to throw maybe a couple of other bigger fish in here. I definitely want to get maybe a pleco or two in here just to kind of keep things clean. Um, although, I don't know about the sand. I've never really done too many plecos on sand, but mm -hmm. we'll see. Uh, but give me some ideas. I'm overall though, I'm pretty pumped about this. Again, probably update a few other things, maybe put some, um, a few more fake plants in here that they can hide in. They seem to like those. Uh, speaking of plants, the turtles outside have been eating my lily pad, my lily pads on my um, water lily, which I'm not happy about. So that kind of sucks, but we'll see. So stay tuned. Let's get to our good vibe shout out. All right guys, so I'm gonna see if they wanna eat while I do this. Uh, Good vibe shout out here. Let me put some in. They probably should. So this episode's good vibe shout out goes out to Exotic Leon, or Lion, I think it's Leon. Um, he said, you're so underrated, bro. I can't wait till you blow up. I can't, I can't wait till we blow up either. It seems like we've been waiting a while, but hey, until then, we're just gonna keep pushing, keep doing what we do, and hope you enjoy them. Look at she's eating. So we're definitely gonna monitor um, Xena with them. If she seems to bother them too much, I'm gonna bring uh, Zena outside to the large pool pond with Fred and Kazoo, she will be fine. We've had them out there and none of the fish are bothering Fred or Kazoo, so I think she would be perfectly fine. But we'll see how they are in here. Oh good, they're eating, that's all good news. Crusher is uh, taking a little bit more time to adapt. Oh, I love, the sunfish always comes out and eats their food too. Um, really cool. I think I might get maybe, like I said, one or two more hiding spots in here. Hey guys, if you have any ideas, please let me know down below. If you have any other cool ways we could make like a DIY hiding spot for them, let me know down below. But um, I am really going to enjoy this. I love this. I think they have plenty of room to kind of go around the hole outside and have more than one hiding spot. So I'm pumped. Now we can focus on them and on uh, the new little baby Groot until he gets a little bit bigger to go up in there and then we will fix up that that um, tank over there for him. So, no further ado. Oh guys, please send me some stuff so we can do a 10 seconds of fame in one of the next videos. I need some pictures and videos of any of your guys that you have, whether it's fish, turtles, outside animals, chickens, whatever it is, send me some pictures to any one of our outlets so we can do that. Until then, peace. Subscribe.
subscribe below. Look at this guy. He won't forget. They always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent, guys. Fred is in great shape. Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.